Hello, my friends out there. Welcome to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel show. I am Buckeye Vinny. Let's get this video underway, my friends. Just when you thought LeBron James officially kept his comments to himself, not the case. Just a matter of a few days ago, LeBron James coming out saying that he will no longer be a Dallas Cowboy fan. He will no longer support America's team, as they used to call them. Why? Because he disagrees with the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. That's right, Mr. Jerry Jones, because Jerry Jones has a specific rule on that team, and this is the rule. No kneeling as long as I am the owner, okay? Well, like always, crybaby James, upset because he's not getting his way. And, you know, this is ironic about this guy. You know, for many years when he first started in the NBA, you know, we all know he played his high school basketball, St. Vincent, St. Mary's. You know, went from high school straight to the Cavs. Do you recall him being like this ever? You know, this man did a 360 in the, in, in, and let's get this straight, in the famous year of 2020, you know that great year there, okay? He did a famous 360 where he all of a sudden became anti-American about everything. Defund the police. Certain people should be allowed to, to uh, no longer should you be uh, kneeling. You, you, you know, I, I'm just shaking my head at this guy. And this is the same guy in 2020 that humiliated famous quarterback for the New Orleans Saints, future Hall of Famer Drew Brees, humiliated the man. Why? Because Drew Brees had his own opinion about why he was against the players kneeling for the national anthem. Because he had love and respect for his grandfather who was in the military. Do we all remember that? The biggest mistake, and I'm a big Drew Brees fan, the biggest mistake Drew Brees could have done was to flip his side and apologize and said he was wrong. Wrong for what? For having your own opinion? See, my friends, this is what agitates me, that LeBron James can have his own opinion about anything, and don't you dare question him, but he doesn't have the same respect for those that disagrees. Now, I'm just going to say this. If I'm the Dallas Cowboys, okay, and I just found out that LeBron James is no longer going to support the Cowboys or like the Cowboys... You know what? I'm cheering. You don't want to support us? Get the hell out then. Don't support us. You know, it's amazing that a billionaire, and that's what he is, believes that just because he's a billionaire, that what he says, the common Joe, like you and I out there, okay, should buy in to everything this guy says. I'm just going to say this. I don't give a rat's ass what LeBron James says. Zero. Zero. I don't care what that man says. I didn't care what he said in the beginning of the great 2020 year, and I definitely don't agree with what he has to say now. To me, in my workplace... He is a perfect crap starter. You know those type of people that like to stir that pot and get everything going? Yes, that's him. That's LeBron James. And you know what? It's kind of ironic because maybe LeBron James should focus more on his L.A. Lakers than worrying about owner Jerry Jones and Jerry Jones' own rules. You know, the Lakers, in case you don't know, 
are in fourth place in their division out of five teams in fourth with two wins and six losses. You know what, LeBron? Maybe, bro, you better start focusing on the NBA basketball. And you know what? Let Jerry Jones keep by his business as the owner of the Cowboys. Once you own a football team someday, then maybe you can have a different rule about kneeling or not kneeling, okay? But until then, bro, just shut your mouth. Go play basketball, okay? And, and get your Lakers out of the basement right now, okay? This man just totally irritates me. And it's not because he has a different opinion. That is not... He irritates me because he thinks his opinion is facts. That's what he thinks, okay? He's not in the political realm, thank God for that, okay? So why does he think just because he's an NBA basketball player and a billionaire that we should listen to what this guy says? You know what? What a joke. Total joke, if you ask me. But, you know, you'll have some woke people out there that will somewhat agree with them. And that's fine. That's fine. That's what makes this world go around, I guess. But again, you know, for him to attack, and he did, for him to attack and go after owner Jerry Jones verbally like he did, uh, uncalled for. Uncalled for. Again, my friends, when I stop and look of NBA players, from the 80s and the 90s, wow, there's no comparison. No comparison. Jordan didn't do this crap. Michael, uh, Michael Jordan didn't do this stuff. Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Larry Bird, none of them. They kept their mouths shut. In fact, a good quote from The Worm, Dennis Rodman, and I love what Dennis Rodman had to say. He said this, that if LeBron played in the 80s and the 90s, he would have been just an average NBA basketball player. I love it. Way to go, Worm. Totally agree with you. My friends, for those that are new checking me out for the first time, please click on the subscribe button. Totally free to do so. If you like this video, which I hope you do, click on the like button. And like always, Please comment down below. I definitely want to read what you have to say about this video and your comments. Like always, peace out, God bless, and we only have one king in this world. And it's not Elvis, and it's sure the hell not LeBron. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.